Goats on. At the face-off X and one by the Orange, Johnny Rachusa. He immediately sprints in and now Syracuse sets up the offense. And that was a big question coming into today. Can Syracuse win face-offs knowing there's no Jacob Fop out there in midfield? Last year, he won 18 of those face-offs, and U Albany sees a four-man rotation. Winning draws at the dot is an important thing for Scott Marr. He said that was one of his four keys coming into tonight's matchup. Rashusa, six, seven for 16 from the face-off X in the 7-5 win last Saturday against Vermont. Held Stumpson, shot on net and a goal! How about that for a start? Jackson Burt whistle and the orange off and running That's exactly what you're looking for Syracuse started out slow last year But the feed from someone that wasn't in that matchup last season Owen Hiltz right in the center to Burt whistle gets the easy feed and an even better score going to the bottom left corner Jackson Burt whistle. He was That's something Gary Gate talked about a lot in our call this week. Limit the turnovers. If they can do that, they'll have a successful weekend. Elijah Gash all the way in a long pole goal. You want a response, Great Danes? You got one. These two faced off last season, and this is just picture perfect from Gash. Nobody is on him. He has so much. He has so many looks there. He has a golden opportunity. Takes advantage of it, going on the weaker side. It's cake for gas. And he gives off to Michael Leo. Leo, the freshman. Very young group. Lots of talent with this young class as well for the Cuse. Shot on net. That's in. Unbelievable. Jackson Burt whistle. Making an early statement. Five minutes. When you hear the ping, it makes it even sweeter. Burt whistle getting. Marked pretty well defensively, but you just cannot stop a shot like that. Hardly any angle there. Ping. That is easy money for Burt Whistle. Another look at it here. Just has the feed, the sidewinder. That is so pure from Jackson. Wow. Two to one the score. Both on goals from Jackson. Burt Whistle. Cursed. He races in. He tries on that. That shot bounced in. Cole Cursed gets on the board. And the orange up on the white jersey making his mark getting some sort of a screen there coming from Vinny Trujillo but easy money once again and this time it comes from the captain coming out on the wing going with the bouncer and scoring here come the orange cursed at SU's third goal Spolina races in bouncer that's in Joey Spolina he's arrived Syracuse slide know anything like that coming over from X see look no one picks him up and it's because curse has this screen right there Spolina making it look so easy putting the Cuse in front up three The opener Syracuse didn't score until the second quarter it was one nothing Vermont took the while for the orange offense to get going Spolina with a spin can he get a shot on that yes he can Oh Joey Spolina makes it look easy Dialing the good is because how he can handle one-on-ones. Look at the footwork. The spin gets his man off him. Easy feed. Bowser, that's true. All day, Joey Spolina is going to hit that. Not a chance for Max Neeson to try to get him. From defense and the offense creating more chances. You already won five of the seven face-offs in the first quarter. Still lose. Syracuse wins this one. Nearly a quick opportunity. Broke his ankle shot. That's a goal. That's Syracuse men's lacrosse at its finest. Are you kidding me? Carter Rice. I want to talk about stepping up. Carter Rice did that. But you got to start right from the top of the faceoff. You know, you get the scoop from Sam Alexo getting the ground ball. Look at the face. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Where was he going? And Carter Rice. Thomas Stepping back. Three goals last season against the Orange. Gives off a shot. That's money. And that's one you Albany desperately needed. How about the freshman Silas Richmond? This was a quarter last year that you Albany dominated. And it was because Griffin Cook just simply didn't get back in time. Richmond makes it look so easy. The sidewinder and puts his team out of the stick. Alex Pfeiffer. Racing in front of the net, gets a shot off, that's in! Alex Pfeiffer! How about that goal? It's two straight for the Great Danes. 
This goal was bound to happen a few moments before he actually ripped it. I mean, Trujillo was late on the slide over here at X, but just a perfect look. Moving to his right, falling down. Sub two. I mean, everything was going wrong there for the Great Danes, but either way, that's two. Straight away. Rolo with a shot, bring it in. My goodness, Luke Roa. The first goal of this. This was an exceptional opportunity here for Cuse. And Roa understands, hey, I have a shot. Why not take it? He pings it off the crossbar after getting the feed. Nobody there marking him or anything like that. It's too easy for the fresh. We nearly had Joey Spolina, but the Orange hold on to it. 35 to shoot. Pass in front of the net. Griffin Cook. Nearly a highlight reel play and then got body to the grounds. And he stepped over as well. Cook lost his bucket, too. I mean, this is what Gary Gate likes, the creativity. Cook get the sh getting the shot off, but getting shoved in the process. How about... I mean, that's just how quickly they work. Hiltz <laughs> gets it, sticks it. That's what he does best. He understands where he's going to go with the ball already before he even has it. Visualizing the attack, that's what the Canadian... Only made one start last year. Seeing real action right now. Pucci racing in front, but Alexo hounding him. You see in that long stick go to work. And there's just nothing you all but he's been able to do. How about the spin? Great and hog to the net. That shot and scored. He's to cut it to five. That's the momentum that you Albany needs going into the halftime break. A great spin move from Hogg and jumping in the process as well. That's just been the, how tough it is for the Great Danes to find a look. And finally, Graydon finds it with the five hole as well. Do whatever he can to score. B is just one shot. We saw this in the second quarter. Will Mark made a great save. Let's find out if he does it again. Pucci at the points. Around the world go the Great Danes. When does that shot come? Here it comes. Pucci. Bouncer. Scores. That's how you take advantage. On the man advantage. Jack Pucci finding Twine. Just like he did a year ago against Syracuse. Cuts it to a 9-5 score. And you can hear the Pooch coming across on the right side. With all the Albany crowd coming in. Had it at point blank range. Go with the bouncer. That's been the struggle today for Will Mark. He's been saving the shots that have been coming through air. But what has been bouncing. It's been kind of a caveat. Against the goalie from L that transferred from LIU. Respect. Like you said, not really necessarily the quantity, necessarily the quantity, but the quality. Shots are nearly even both sides. Rowan, he scored the first goal of his career in half number one. Goal line extended, down back out. Hills. Cole Kirst fires on it and scores. Cole Kirst, why not? leads to offense. That's where Syracuse thrives, and that's where they've looked so good this year. You see the turnover here to start off. Swinging with the stick. Griffin defending the physicality. Leads to the shot clock violation. Then you go to the other side. Cole Curse finally has the lane that he's looking for. The slide is late, and the grad student takes advantage. This is where he works so well out in the wing. It's money each and every time. Griffin Cook looking for space, centering feet in front of the net, scored! The Orange with another one. Who else? Joey Spolina, number four. Efficiency is the key to victory. That's what Joey Spolina has right now. Four goals on five shots. Coming in on the wraparound at X. No one saw that coming. It leads to Spolina moving to his right and getting the easy score. Look how quickly he does it. Quick spin, ping, got it. A little bit with that head more, do whatever he can to have an opportunity like this. Let's see if UAlbany takes advantage. Pucci again, he had a goal, the last man advantage for UAlbany. That ball rolls out. Sheehan plays it back in. 42 seconds remaining. Shot on that, that bounced in. Unfortunate bounce for Will Mark. Fortunate for Silas Richmonds. The freshman has a goal to cut it back down 11 to 6. I thought this was going to be a chance for Graydon Hogg to take advantage, knowing Landon Clary isn't out there. But I don't even think that was expected from Richmond. It got blocked, it got deflected, and it led to a late reaction from Mark. 
That's unfortunate. Threw off the time when this game was at Albany. And it was a great day that was taking advantage. Here in 2023, completely different. We may have case in point right here with Carter Rice crossing midfield. Rice sprinting in. No one picks him up all the way to the net. And he scores! Way too easy. Carter Rice all the way home. What to do? It's a one-minute penalty against Elijah Gash. The man advantage now for the first time all game for Syracuse. I mean, you want to talk about taking advantage? That's his case in point right there. Getting decked after it. Carter Rice stepping up on the opportunity without Brandon Avila's there. This is so easy. Against UAlbany, Syracuse has three of them. First time this man advantage can go to work. Hiltz. Syracuse sets up shop. Oh, the backhander in! Luke Roa, how do you? The first two goals of the game, now he gets his third. This was nasty. I mean, the wraparound, top right corner, too easy for Burt Whistle. How about a hat trick? So far in the third quarter, it's been more of a struggle to get it going from an offensive standpoint. Pucci, right alley, bounced it in. Jack Pucci, yet again. He's got a multi-goal evening. 13 to seven with seven minutes to play in the third. Long Islander getting it done. A couple of Islanders getting it going here. And it's over Pucci who has the easy look. Alexo doing whatever he can to have one last seed. Nobody there. Pucci completely unmarked and actually bounced off of Will Mark's stick. Old. Sure enough, it was. And Mars been drawn all game. Orange on the man advantage for a minute. Right in front of the net. That's how you do it. That's number five. Joey Spolina have a night. Joey Spolina has done. Left unmarked once again. No slide, no nothing. Yahtzee. Five for Spolina. I mean, look at this. Nobody's there. This is one of, if not the best players in lacrosse. He deserves it. If he keeps having games like this, if he can keep showing out against those top opponents, he definitely can. Here come the Orange again. Hilt scores! My goodness, two in the blink of an eye. So quick. In a step one, win the face off. Sambalexo takes it. You think he's going to have a pole goal, right? Nope. Find the open guy on the win. Bam. Hilt's at X. Looking for a feed in front, doesn't have it. Spolina, he does have a feed. Wide open, Leo, he cranks it up and scores! Oh, baby! How about that for your first career goal? Yeah, this, this is where you take advantage, right? On the man of opportunity, nobody there. The mark was late, and lets Leo rip, ping! <laughs> That's just too easy. Keep the symphony going. Transfer Alex Simmons. Here's the look at it. It's a free ball, right? Go up with it. Bam. <laughs> and that wasn't the one that no, that was the pass. right. Here's another one. Still with it. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, you can <laughs> see the head move on the hit. Wasn't expected either. He's got a smile on the bench. Bringing the physicality for the orange. Final seconds of this third quarter, ticking down. SU in complete control, complete command for the Orange. Syracuse by nine. A dominant third quarter that included seven Orange goals. Cole Kirst playing a part, Owen Hiltz as well. The Orange sending a statement.